Hi, this is another way to do the stretchy slip knot cast on using just your thumb, your forefinger and a needle in your right hand. The end of the working yarn is on your right hand side. Bring your thumb under the yarn and then bring your forefinger over the back yarn there and then under the front and then you twist your hand and you see you formed a loop but there's a crossbar going across the back of that loop. Now you want to pick that bar up with your right hand needle holding the needle as close to the back of that loop as possible. Anchor it on the needle with your right forefinger and then let these two fingers go. Pull the yarn, the yarn taut and you formed your first slip knot on your right needle and you then just repeat that. It's important to place the needle at the back of the loop here before you anchor that thread with your forefinger because what you want when you let these um, your other forefinger and your thumb go is for the knot to form as close to the base of the needle as possible so that you get nice tight stitches and you can do this quite quickly when you get the hang of it. There you can see that you've made nice, evenly spaced, evenly sized stitches ready to start knitting and it makes a very stretchy cast on.